Are you sick of possession movies yet? What's up everybody, if you're not sick of possession movies, I do have another film for you and it's going to be called The Atticus Institute. Not sure how it got on the list. Came out in 2015, written and directed by Chris Sparling. The only other thing he's really done of note on his IMDb page was write that movie Buried with Ryan Reynolds and I kind of like that movie. So let's talk about The Atticus Institute for a minute. Basically it's a mockumentary and it examines the events that took place at the Atticus Institute in 1976. and. The pitch line is basically that it's the only recorded case by the U.S. military of a demon possession of a person. So the story starts off and we're introduced to this place, the Atticus Institute, and it was set up to study paranormal psychology like telekinesis and pyrokinesis and ESP, all that crap, whatever. And after they kind of take a hit to their reputation a little bit, they come across this patient named Judith Winstead and of course she's off the charts with her psychic ability she can do all kinds of crazy stuff but as the film progresses we find out there's a little more to it than just psychic abilities that she's actually being possessed and yes we've seen this all a million times but they did take this completely different angle where they brought the military into it and we get to kind of see like how the military would try to control someone that's possessed and of course do all their little nasty things and I kind of liked that and overall I thought the film was done pretty well. The biggest problem being that we've seen it all before but let's get into the good the military angle. I did enjoy that. It's not a big you know action big budget film. It takes place in a few rooms. It's all footage from the Institute so it's like exam rooms and stuff like that and then mixed with current interviews of military personnel that were there. Together it pieces the story. And the story is good, but the thing is, I've seen a million possession movies, and the girl Judith Winstead, played by Raya Colstead, she's gonna be in that Heroes Reborn, she's been in a bunch of stuff. She does a good job as a possessed person, but there's not much range, and we never really get to know her before she's possessed. So that's a little bit of a problem, although I did like her performance. There was definitely a couple little creepy things. Uh, not that bad though, you know, it's more of like an actual, it kind of reminded me actually too much of like maybe a real documentary. And it's sort of realistic in its presentation of what would happen, I think. You know, it's a horror movie, but at the same time, it is kind of done slightly realistically, which I did enjoy. Maybe I'm looking for too many good things in this movie. Like I said, for the budget, for what they had, I thought they made a pretty decent film, but let's get into the bad, because there's a lot of bad. First of all, we've seen it all before. Not much happens besides the possession. I would prefer to higher body count or maybe a little more depth to the story. Like I said, we never got to know Judith's character before she was possessed. And the big thing was the ending. I know all these possession movies, you have to end it somehow, but I just felt on this one they either wrote themselves into a corner or they were trying to, you know, hope it would be so good that people would want a sequel. And I never like when movies do that. Of course, you have to end it somehow. And this one was just like, oh, you know, it ends just like every other sort of kind of like found footage movie, uh, mockumentary type thing like this. And, you know, we're left with a few questions, definitely. And I was just, you know, I've seen that before. Even though the film was worth watching, worth sitting through, I really can't recommend it. I'm gonna give it just below a three out of five. I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of five because like I said, I thought it was a pretty quality movie. It was a little bit better quality than I was definitely expecting, but it's all stuff we've seen before except for the military angle, which I did enjoy, which made this movie salvageable in my opinion. Uh, but I really just can't recommend it because it didn't make that big of an impact on the story. You know, it's still basically a possession movie. So if there's things in possession films that you'd like to see that you haven't seen before, comment down below. Are you sick of possession movies? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of middle of the road. I started watching this. I enjoyed it. But like at the same time, it's the same stuff as usual. So let me know what you thought down below if you've seen the Atticus Institute. And I'll see you guys soon.